Today we're gonna go over different kettlebell squat variations, starting with the goblet squat, followed by the single arm rack squat, and finishing with the double kettlebell front squat. The goblet squat is preferred by many coaches and athletes alike due to its simplicity. Holding the kettlebell in a goblet position, you descend the hips downward, while at the bottom, drive your elbows to spread your knees and then stand up. It's that simple. Here are the steps for a successful goblet squat. Step one, line your feet shoulder width apart, feet slightly turned outwards. Step two, bring the kettlebell tightly to your chest, grabbing it by the horns. Step three, corkscrew your feet into the ground, keeping your heels and toes planted at all times. Step four, on the descent, actively pull your hips into the hold while inhaling into your belly. Step five, at the bottom, push your knees out with your elbows. Step six, maintain a neutral spine throughout the movement. Step seven, begin the ascent while letting out a grunt or an outward exhalation. Step eight, hips and shoulders ascend equally. Step nine, hips and knees extend fully at the top. The single arm rack squat variation is great for reducing asymmetries and creating strong cross-lateral core work. By holding the kettlebell on one side, your job is to not let the rack side twist while maintaining tension on the non-rack side. Here are the steps for a successful single arm rack squat. Step one, line your feet shoulder width apart, feet slightly turned outwards. Step two, clean the kettlebell to a rack position with a straight wrist. Step three, corkscrew your feet into the ground, keeping your heels and toes planted. Step four, on the descent, actively pull your hips into the hole while inhaling into your belly. Step five, keep your body square on both sides, creating tension by squeezing the opposite fist, pretending like you have a kettlebell on the other side. Step six, maintain a neutral spine throughout the full movement. Step seven, begin the ascent while letting out a grunt or an outward exhalation. Step eight, hips and shoulders ascend equally. Step nine, hips and knees extend fully at the top. Are you tired of wrist pain on the barbell front squat? Kettlebells offer a great solution. With the kettlebell rack position, the bells become a part of the athlete's body. This is also the variation that allows for greater gains as you can increase the weight much easier. Note, when performing the double kettlebell front squat, you should be proficient in your double kettlebell clean and your double kettlebell rack position. Here are the steps to success for a double kettlebell front squat. Step one, line your feet shoulder width apart or slightly wider to clear the bells feet are slightly turned outwards. Step two, clean the kettlebells up into the rack position with straight wrist. Step three, corkscrew your feet into the ground, keeping your heels and toes planted. Step four, on the descent, actively pull your hips into the hole while inhaling into your belly. Step five, maintain a neutral spine throughout the full movement. Step six, begin the ascent while letting out a grunt or outward exhalation. Step seven, hips and shoulders ascend equally. Step eight, Hips and knees extend fully at the top. Activating everything from your quads and glutes to your core and lats, the kettlebell offers squat variations that are extremely effective for increasing strength throughout the entire body. All of these variations will help you develop higher quality of movement and with mastery, make you a multifaceted athlete.